What's up guys and welcome back to the channel 365 days of magic and today is day number 15 <laughs> And you're probably asking yourself what is this guy doing with some nunchucks? Well the truth is that yesterday a video was released on Alex Boyer's channel that totally reminded me of a trick that I used to do known as the karate coin. So today I want to show you not only the karate coin but the trick that reminded me of said karate coin. So you're going to get two tricks today. That's crazy, I might run out of material a day early. But before we get stuck into that, I do want to say g'day to all of my new followers. You're now a member of the hashtag 365 squad. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing, man? Make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if you haven't already, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button with the push. Maybe that's a little bit over the top, but make sure that you do hit that thumbs up button for me. It feeds the algorithm lords, and you know how YouTube is. The algorithm lords need a feed. But anyway guys, there's not too much else to say about today, so let's just roll the stinger. And let's do a magic trick. And we'll be starting off with the karate coin. Check this out, 150 cent piece. Oh, the finger just goes straight through it. Ah, oh, that's weird. <laughs> of course, you don't have to perform it in that generic way. You could always take the coin, balance it on the tip of your finger, and just with a little hop, hop, <laughs> the coin just melts straight onto the tip of the finger, and that always looks so cool to me. So the trick looks really cool with a coin, but what about with a card? Or well, with a card, it looks something like that. And that is Vortex. So as I'm sitting here doing the edit, I just realized that I kept calling it Vortex, but it's called Cyclone. So I'm just gonna quickly record a little dub. Cyclone. Cyclone. Huh. You guys aren't even gonna notice the difference. <laughs> So those two tricks, the Karate Coin and Cycle, are generations apart. The Karate Coin was invented by a guy named Christopher Wheel. Wheel? Wheel. W-I-E-H-L. I'm not sure how you'd pronounce that. And Cycle. This was created by Chris Ramsey. And the reason why I wanted to show you is because I just saw the tutorial. It was posted on Alex Boyer's channel. <laughs> taught by Chris Ramsey. If you want to learn cycling, you can always go to Alex Boyer's channel and watch that tutorial. I'm going to post it in the uh, description below. So definitely go check it out. I think that it's so cool though that some of these old effects are still being reinvented into today's magic. I don't think I've seen someone perform the karate coin in quite some time, but I do remember when I was younger, it was all the rage. Everyone was, you know, popping fingers through coins. <laughs> Back then that was the, uh, that was like the height of close-up magic where you could take a solid steel object and just smash your finger through it. Of course, doing it with a playing card looks really cool. The little flick, the pop out, and then you just like boom! And the finger just punches through the card. That looks, uh, that also looks very cool. <laughs> I need a little H2O. <laughs> but anyway guys, I wanna know which one you guys prefer. Do you prefer that old school one with the coin? Or do you like the new school one with the card? Either way, both are fun and both are cool. However, one is vastly cheaper than the other. I have no idea which one's better, to be honest. I think that they're both super cool in their own ways. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So anyway, guys, with that, that's day number 15. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number 16. Ooh. Did that look weird to you? It felt weird. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.